got this Spider-Man, thanks anyway. Understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jacobs. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Godbot. Wait till mom sees all this. All units, report of a break-in. Backup requested near Trinity, over. Take it easy, fake Spider-Man. Muggers never take a day off. They got way bigger problems than protecting your own. Who wants a picture? That's it? I feel like the holdup guys are phoning it in lately. Progress. Incident was reported near Trinity. 
Crooks, this fight's going viral. Get this crap off me. <laughs> Gotta give that wheel man props. Manhattan rush hour is no joke. You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them. Look, I know you've been hacking into our crime system towers. Wasn't me. I mean, what towers? I don't mind. In fact, I need your help. I think someone's jamming the system, and they must be using multiple jammers to cover the full frequency range, could you take a look? If you help, I promise I won't tell anyone you're hacking us. I prefer to call it sharing, but sure. The jammers emit a signal I can detect. Just need to swing through the financial district and hunt for a signal. Found a signal. Just need to follow it. The closer I am to the jammer, the stronger the signal gets. Fisk's men. This is my shock face. Now I just need to wreck the jammer. Problem solved.
I just took out a jamming device. That do anything? No, but like I said, there's probably a bunch of them. Makes sense. I'll track them down. I wonder if Fisk's men had anything to do with the system going down in the first place. jamming party and didn't invite me. need to get rid of the jammer. Gotta smash the jammer. Sometimes breaking stuff is the answer. And it's fun, too. Spider-Man, it's working. I'm starting to get a weak signal. It's garbled, but I picked up something about Fisk and outfits. Fisk was the kingpin of crime, but he didn't deal in knockoff fashion. The sooner the system is fixed, the sooner we know what they're planning. There's still a few rooftops I have only one jammer left. I'm gonna guess these guys aren't here to tan. Gotta take out the jamming device. Job's not done until that jammer's in pieces. Okay, that's the last of them. The system should be back online. Spider-Man, the crime system's working again. Great. Any more info on Fisk's men or those outfits? No, but the system's reporting unauthorized activity down by the docks. I'm sending coordinates now. I'll check it out. We gotta get to the docks before they escape.
guns. Enough firepower for a small army. Whatever they're planning to do with those, it's nothing good. Gotta find out what those guns are for. Heads up! I see him! Now maybe I can figure out what's going on. Guns, prison guard uniforms, and spoofed ID cards. They were planning to bust Fisk out of the raft. Sorry to spoil your prison break, guys. Get down! Back him down! Looks like New York's finest have it from here. Everything's clear on my end, too. Thanks for restoring the system, Spider-Man. I won't tell anyone you're piggybacking on it, but if you get caught, you're on your own. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to delete my selfies from the crime system servers. Folks, I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald's Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. B and E. Gotta love the classics. Spider-Man! Shoot him! Yeah, 
guys don't look like locksmiths. Anyone to lose? I'm not. Jail, where I bet you'll be as good at breaking out as you were at breaking in. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Cowards assault a helpless person like that. Hey. You want to fight? It's your lucky day.
Here, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. That's <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? Deal reported. Need an officer to check it out. The backup needed in the meatpacking district. Over. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking.
Easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Wish I could do something to help Doc. Call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants, before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <coughs> Got it! from a tailpipe. <laughs> that must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos.
great light on that one. smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. He's behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone! What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Peter, I've been looking into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. What were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> 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 Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, don't kill me. Coming your way! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Trust me, have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! 
Oh, come on, Herman! If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal! If I talk, I'm dead! They made that very clear! yourself. Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. 